Hi, this is Joseph. It is Thursday, February 12th, 2015. I wanted to review the very last trade that we executed here with the euro dollar. And the reason I really want to focus on this one is that I've been talking about it for the last couple of days with our updates. So this is the euro dollar. This is the breakout. We traded this to the upside. Uh, again, no losing trades today. Another winning day. But specifically, I want to go to the one hour time frame. This is the time frame that I've been showing you for quite some time. And we've been talking about the number of days of consolidation here so if you're trying to get a, a better sense of the type of trading strategy that I use with the trade copier this is a pretty good idea this will give you a pretty good idea an example of what it is that I'm doing so you'll notice that if there's any kind of movement inside of this consolidation range as long as this range remains intact, I'm pretty much stay away from it. I won't trade it until I know I see a solid breakout. And that's exactly what we saw this morning. I didn't get into the euro dollar until it actually closed and completed this one hour candle, giving me that continuation breakout trade. So that's the, the, the big move that I talk about. There's sometimes a trending move that develops afterwards. And that's what we're trading. So we were taking profits quickly on this particular strategy. So we were able to trade this very safely and we stayed away from all all of the noise I should call it which is a lot of the choppy price action inside a consolidation you really have to be aware of the current environment so going back to the 30 minute chart we can see that prior to the breakout today we had Wednesday Tuesday and Monday so for most of the week it was inside a consolidation and today we got our breakout move oh and I'd also like to touch on one other trade this is another trade that I wanted to quickly talk about and again going back to why this one this one is the dollar yen 30 minute time frame and it is the HL 30 so I received a couple of emails and they were asking me Joseph you know what's the size of the stop loss that you're using you know I've used other services and sometimes they don't use stop losses first of all I always use a stop loss and the largest stop loss that I use on any of my strategies, it doesn't matter which one it is, whether it's a breakout or a reversal or the HL30, whatever it is, the largest stop loss is never larger than 55 pips. With my trade copier, you can actually specify the maximum stop loss you want to use. So since I never use a stop loss larger than 55 pips, you could input that into the trade copier to give you an extra level of protection so that you know that it's never going to exceed 55 pips as a stop loss. That's a good feature with the trade copier. But with this HL30 technique, what I'm basically doing is trading off of the previous day's high and low. So it's a short-term trade. With the HL30, I'm using a 20 pip target and a 20 pip stop loss. So what I'm doing, again, is trading the previous day's resistance. And here is my reversal signal candle. And it earns approximately 20 pips. So we get in and get out. Sometimes they move pretty quick and they pay quickly within maybe an, about an hour or two hours to the target and then other days it might take three four five six hours it really depends on the market conditions but again it's a very safe and affordable profitable trade and it sets up on almost every currency pair so basically what I'm doing after the rollover period is I set up my charts and I start looking for the possibility of HL 30s now there are ways to improve the HL 30 and I share that with you in the real deal traders course that I give you as a bonus when you sign up to use the trade copier so again this was another winning trade but we took this one long before that euro dollar trade that I just showed you so again another profitable day using the trade copier if you'd like to get the trade copier all you have to do is click on the purchase page and you can have the trade copier installed and added to your MetaTrader platform in about five minutes or less very easy to use and you can use the trade copy on any size trading account there is no minimum no maximum capital requirement thank you very much for watching this video and I look forward to trading with you